I've got a bone to pick with the Louisiana courts. So let me explain why. In my opinion, the courts in Louisiana did backflips to protect bad conduct by the police. So let me tell you the backstory. A black guy gets arrested and he's charged with a serious crime and the police do what they do, which is they want to talk to him. He says to the police after they're telling him what he's accused of, he goes, why don't you just give me a lawyer, dog? That's what he says. Why don't you give me a lawyer, dog? Well, the law is, according to the U.S. Supreme Court, that when somebody says that they want a lawyer, stop. Cops can't ask any more questions. If they ask questions after somebody has asked for a lawyer, they're not allowed in court against the guy. But there's an exception. And the exception is if somebody says something like, maybe I should ask for a lawyer, and kind of an ambiguous statement. Well, the Supreme Court has said, well, if the request for a lawyer isn't clear, then the questioning by the police later on, that's admissible because he wasn't clear. He has to clearly and unequivocally request a lawyer. So the issue here was, was the statement, why don't you just get me a lawyer, dog, sufficient? Well, most of the courts that have looked at this have said that, you know, if the cops aren't sure if a guy's asking for a lawyer, it's their job to clarify it. But no, that's not what happened here. The lawyer for the guy said to the, the judge, whoever that was, he said to the judge at the trial level, he said, judge, he's asking for a lawyer. But the state came up with the argument that, to me, I, you know, I would have thought it was remarkably stupid, but the state's argument was, judge, this was ambiguous. I mean, you know, get me a lawyer. Dog. Well, we don't have dogs that are lawyers. So the cop, you know, he could have reasonably thought that he was asking for a a dog that practiced law. Well, I think, personally, I, this is kind of a crazy argument. It's not what I would have said if I was the judge, but I wasn't the judge, and the judge bought it. And then it went all the way up to the Louisiana Supreme Court, which, you know, you'd think they might reverse it, but they said no. The ambiguous and equivocal reference to a lawyer dog does not constitute a clear request for a lawyer, since he could have actually been requesting a dog that was a lawyer. Yeah, that's that's what they said. Now, somebody criticizing this, I mean, let's face it. If the guy said, I want a lawyer, pig, does that mean he wants a lawyer who is also made out of bacon and is a pig? Or if you have the, the guy from Breaking Bad, I can't remember his name, the old guy, and he, uh, Mike, and he goes, he says to the a young cop, he says, give me a, I want a lawyer, kid. Does that mean he wants a goat? that practices law? Come on. Most of us, maybe with the exception of some courts, have common sense and we know exactly what was going on. So uh, somebody looking at this said, I think that the courts were being willfully ignorant. That's what they uh, comment. But I, I, I don't think so. To quote the, the great Judge Judy, she said, don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. I don't think that they were willfully ignorant. I think it was worse. I think they knew full well exactly what they were doing, and what they were doing was trying to hold up a conviction where a black guy using street vernacular had clearly asked for a lawyer. Was the decision of the court racist? I'll let you decide. Matter of fact, comment below as to your thoughts. But I hope you found this educational and informative, maybe a little enraging if you're like me. But anyway, I'm attorney Andy Siegel. That doesn't mean I'm a seagull that practices law. Well, I am a seagull that practices law. Look, if you can't figure out that I'm a real human and not a bird that flies with the last name Seagull and I practice law, you may qualify for a position on the Louisiana courts. But if you're in a legal jam here in North Alabama and you'd like our help, just give us a call. Phone number's below. I always hope you guys like these videos. Please give me a thumbs up because it helps us. And uh, if you want to see more of these as they come out, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm attorney Andrew Siegel.